Howdy world! I know it's been two weeks since I've actually uploaded anything. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, I had actually recorded hanging out with my friends on the Saturday and then uh, big old sewing club at Mama G's. Um, Saturday, I actually didn't end up recording anything. I thought it was, but nothing was on the SD card. I was kind of blown. And then Sunday, the footage just wasn't great. I had like five, six clips, but it wasn't enough to make a good vlog. So I didn't want to disappoint you guys. Now, last week also I didn't want to vlog because I didn't do anything and uh, there wasn't nothing much going on. There was nothing to film in regards to that. And so now I am back today. On a sadder note, uh, as of Thursday on February 2nd, my grandmother had passed away on my mom's side. And we're gonna have a lot of family coming in in a couple days, have everything taken care of, the viewing, the mass, the burial. And that's what we are planning to do for the next week. Um, but change of gears now. But the good thing is that next weekend is gonna be fun-filled action. Vlog as much as we go down to Harrisonburg. I have some friends down there in college. We're trying to get a group to go down. Tim and I, we are heading down there um, on Friday and then coming back this Saturday evening because he has work on Sunday. The following week is going to be a lot of vlogging because I'm going to vlog every day when I'm at Katsukon, which is an anime convention that we try to go every year. And that's what we're trying to do. So that's the upcoming progress and stuff like that. Uh, this affiliate what is going on and everything else. Now, right now today is going to be kind of interesting because I'm going to work right now, work some overtime. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me, uh, carefully as much, but I'm going to try to bring you guys with me to show you kind of what I'm doing, kind of where I work and everything. Uh, and then I'm going to also try to go to, I think we're trying to go to BJ's to get a membership card. My brother and I were trying to, we're going to talk to him about that. And then I'm trying to go run six miles because I have that Marine Corps half marathon coming up in May. All he does is talk too much. I talk no shit. service center where they have printers and whatnot so I'm not spying or recording in anybody's office because I think technically that's illegal so I'm not doing that not showing you guys but I fortunately have a unit up there called fan coil unit it's got a motor a blade scroll cage everything it blows air with a set of coils for cooling and heating as well so bring you guys along You guys can see it, it's right there. So what I gotta do is replace the filter. So. Turn that off. How the hell? Oh wow, that's so stupid.
Barely see anything. They never make it easy for us. They never do. The size I needed was 118, 1018. So, go ahead and cut. Get close enough. And that's pretty much what I have to do. Make sure to turn it back on. You want to just meet over at BJ's? Is that what we're going to do? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to do it next weekend, dude. Because honestly, I got like, I only got like 100 bucks till next Friday. So I was like, I might as well just do it next weekend. Okay. Yeah, not bad. No. Uh, I'm definitely going to do it, dude. Don't, yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll take care. And just whenever you're available after I do it, we'll, we'll head up there. Oh, yeah, no problem. I just want to see if you're still going to do it today or if you're going to do, do it later in the month. Okay. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm hanging out today. I am. I don't know if you have to run out, but I am going to like run to Target at some point later. Or if you need, you know, whatever it is, I need to get a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm probably just going to go get some lunch now, and then uh, I'll probably be back at the house. Okay, sounds good, man. All right, cool. I'll see ya. All right, buddy. I am now leaving work, and now I'm going to get some lunch, as you probably just heard, and uh, go from there. I don't know where I'm going to go for lunch yet. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of a segment at my job. It's one of the few things I do. Actually, one of many things I do. Um, that I do at my job. Because we're a building engineer maintaining the buildings. So anything with lights, plumbing, doors, to HVAC systems, water systems, and everything else. It's crazy but it's fun it keeps me busy and I like about that and I am trying to figure out where I want to go for lunch I'm thinking about going to California to Tia and get myself a quesadilla that's what I'm thinking about doing and uh, so I'm gonna head home and grab some food and enjoy that for about an hour then go running and then once I'm gone running, I'm gonna be heading over to John's house. Once everything else at the house is taken care of, uh, I gotta talk to my grandpa and my uncle and my mom, make sure everything else is a-okay. And figuring out what tomorrow's plans are, which uh, I'm probably gonna film tomorrow because it's Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, and picking up relatives. I don't know if I have to, but going to see that. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious. What do you guys do for work? What is your occupation? Put that in the comments below. I'm kind of interested in see what you guys uh, do. Um, and do you like it? I mean, sometimes you have a job that just makes good money and you just don't care for the job itself. Itself, you know. Um, so let me know. 
see what you guys' thoughts are. So before I go running, I am gonna have to do one little chore, and that is shampoo the stairs. <laughs> stairs. So yeah, I gotta do that before I go running. Yeah. And Mike already did a swell job of vacuuming. So, I get to work. Just got back from Target, and now I'm gonna have to go running. And it's gonna be fun. Goal is to hit six miles, and I am bringing you guys on with my journey. Six miles. I just ran. Heavily exhausted. I feel great at the same time. In frames, by the way, on point. So I always say to stay positive, regardless of the situation you're in. My grandmother had passed away. I explained earlier in this vlog. And the way I stay positive about it is because for three years, she had Alzheimer's. And now she has passed and she's in a better place right now. So she is suffering no more, and that's a good thing. That's why I want to stay positive. Yeah, I'm sad, I'm hurt. Because a loved one of mine, a family member, had passed. And I'm more sad of the other people that are around me. You know, her sister and brother, her husband, my grandfather. So I feel sad for them. If I gotta look forward, I gotta move on. Help when it's needed, and then go from there. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm back on track making these vlogs for you guys, and going with life. And wherever you are, good night, goodbye, world.